Alright, so let me just try to show you the knots here. Um, I'm using a ruler as my mesh. Um, this will give me about a, a two inch meshing. Um, I don't know, probably a little less than that. Um, but yeah, you're gonna put your. Yeah, sorry. You're gonna put your, your gauge underneath your line. And you're gonna go under and select through a mesh. Pull it down, and you're gonna tighten it down and hold it with your thumb. Let me see if I can zoom with this. Um, with modern filament, the technique, like I said, you're going to have to basically wrap it around your hands, like this, and you're gonna come around that loop that you made once and twice. And you're going to pull the end of the shuttle through the loop that you made with your hands. And that creates your mesh. Right? Let me see if I can zoom in here. Alright, so up close you'll see me going up and under through a loop. Be pulling it down tight, like so. Um, the classic way of doing a sheet bend is to simply lay the line over your hand. So you create a little loop and you go through it once, twice, and you pull it. Same thing goes, you go through it once, All right, and you tighten it down, and like I said, you can either decide to wrap it around your hand, or you could just lay it over your hand, let me show you. So you would lay the loop after you tighten down your mesh, you lay and use gravity to help you around your hands and you go one two times behind and you just pull it All right and I'll give you another series of meshes alright so now this series of three meshes. Um, let's say you want to expand your nets and you want more meshes. Um, what you have to do is create an expander loop. So that's basically the same thing. Um, it's just that you're going to be doing it um, instead of going behind it. Let me show you. You'll be going in between. So we're going to start on your next row. And to create your... Alright, you already created a loop here. Filming this is the hardest thing ever, I swear. Alright. And it doesn't make it easy that model filament is hard to see already. So, um, this is, you already created your loop there. Right, so now you're going to be creating your expander, right? So, we had three meshes, let's say we just want to have four meshes instead. So, instead of going and choosing another loop that we have from our pre previous row, um, what you're going to do is go back through the one that you just made. All right. So instead of going through this one, you're going to go through this one. You're going to tighten it down and same process as before. You could choose to lay it over your hands and go through it twice. Or you could choose to wrap it around your hands, like so. 
then go through it. Oh shoot. Nigger it twice and pull it through. Right? And uh, let me just tidy the rest of the meshes and you'll see what the expanded loop looks like in contrast to the rest of a, a regular mesh. This is 10 pound <laughs> one of filament, so it's very tiny and very hard to see. Um, but it's the only way I can really show you the effectiveness of making the meshes like this. If you try to do this with a single sheet bend, um, it's going to slip super easily and everything just be sliding around and yeah, you, you don't want to see that. <laughs> Alright, so remember we had three meshes before. I'm going to expand this out now. We have now have one, two, oh expand the loop, three, four. Let me zoom in to show you that. See, that's what your expander loop looks like. Just a little loop. And usually you do this alternating. So you see how we did this in the crease of this one? Between this and the smash, you'd also want to put one here in between these two. Right? In between this one. So let me just create another row and I'll show you how again you just continue the process. And um, this is really a, a very, let's say, um, no way the expansion of technology now. There is no need for it because machines basically make netting now. And while that's good, it's bad at the same time because we've lost this type of art in making nets because I mean it's not only for like harvesting fish and so on, nets were an essential part of um, basically load carrying and still is where you use that as bags, use it as traps, um, all sorts of things you can use nets. Um, I make these usually just to like pick fruits and um, I don't mind going through them because once you get destroyed I could just make another one you know so um, it's a lost art um, it's an old fishing art and um, I really enjoy just tying nets um, it comes in very handy it, it's not as mind numbing as you think if you listen to like a podcast or something when you're doing it and um, it's, it's basically muscle memory from there Right, so I've tied several cast nets if I was like cast nets, so <laughs> that's why once I was learning to tie it. And um, I saw one old guy um, in the village by us and he still does it. I see him almost every Saturday, he's just sitting down in his shed. He's retired and he's making nets, so I imagine it'll come in pretty handy when I get older, so. Right. So, dub remember, double sheet bend, twice behind your loop back through, pull it down, and now when you reveal it, you've got your standard four meshes now that we made. And you can see where we had that ex expand the loop. So one, two, three, four meshes. Alright, so I hope this really helped place into um, had trouble tying monofilament with the standard sheet bend. Um, you had problems maybe handling the monofilament um, because it doesn't lay as easily over your hand with the standard method. Um, just to show you it again, you're just wrapping it around your hands, you're going through it, and then you're pulling the base through the loop. Right? It'd probably be a lot easier if I had a wider angle lens, but yeah. Let me just show you how I do a couple quickly just for. For sake of demonstration.